Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Ask Jackie episode four. I know last week I said it was episode four. It is actually episode four today. Um, I recently taught an email marketing class, which was fantastic. And I had some follow-up email questions that I wanted to answer for you today. So first question is, is why are users opening some of your emails more than others? That is such a great question. And I think the reason is, is it depends on the subject of what email you are asking your audience to answer. Um, it should always be a question, it should be short, it should be simplified, and it should be specified to one specific thing. So do make sure that if you are sending an email out, that you are directing it to something very specific. Which do you think is most popular platform for social media? So I think that's a great question because so many people have different opinions. Um, right now they say YouTube is the top Big, uh, the second biggest search engine after Google. So if you don't have a YouTube channel, you should put your TikTok sweats on YouTube. So YouTube is the second big, biggest search engine, then comes Pinterest. And the thing is, is those are SEO, search engine optimization platforms. So people, when they use apps like YouTube and Pinterest are looking for information. When people are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, it's more of a social aspect to it. So you're really building relationships. So in terms of social media, I would say Facebook and Instagram are definitely two of the biggest, but Twitter is huge. Um, because a lot of people want to connect with celebrities and journalists and things like that. So I think it really depends on what you're using it for, um, if that answers that question. What are your users, or what are users talking about on social media? Um, great question. Yeah, so the thing is, is, is if you are an influencer, a small business owner, are you trying to build your presence online, you have to be in your content. No more stock photos. Make yourself stand out because the thing is, is I can go to any other person and find the same content. I am coming to a small business owner and supporting them and engaging in them because I want to see you. I want to learn about you and I want to support you. So make yourself in your content on a regular basis. It could be, this is why people do branding shoots. This is why I started doing them with content creation because people want to see a day in the life of like who you are and you're so much more than what you do for your career. Who are you in your personal life? Who are you in your business life? Are you a mom? Do you have any pets? Walk me through a typical day of you. All right, let's go to a new question. What type of content performs best on each social media channel? What a great question. So. Like I said, I really push, um, I push a lot of doing branding shoots, doing a day in the life of you. And I think those tend to do the best because you're really portraying who you are inside and outside of work and you're mixing it up. Um, I think that that's really, really important. So make sure that you're mixing up your content and it's not always about you. It's about how you can serve other people. Um, but showing up with you in the content. So you can give educational tips, you can give inspiration, you can share something that makes you happy, like family time, and not make it come off that it's all about you. It's about just sharing a common thing with an audience. People want to feel a part of what you're doing. It's why I started these Ask Jackie Live segments, because I wanted my community to feel a part of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, whether we've worked together or not, this is a free outlet for you to really get your marketing questions answered and to really just show up better online than you ever thought. All right, next question. Um, how can you continue to repl replicate your best performing content? This was a really good question. Um, so the thing is, is you don't wanna replicate your best performing content on a regular basis, maybe like once every six months, because as you grow new audience, new people come to your content, they don't know who you are. That's why I always suggest like, it's really important to reintroduce yourself online every couple of months, because first of all, you're taking on new projects, you're growing, you're showing up as a different person every day. Um, so I think it's just really important to reintroduce yourself and not be afraid to say, this is where I came from, this is where I am now, and that is called evergreen content. So definitely, definitely something to I wanted to share tonight also. And um, 
when it comes to leaving comments on people's content, you definitely want to make sure that you're leaving more genuine comments than saying the same thing of what everybody else is saying. Instead of saying, oh, I love this. This is adorable. You know, I'm guilty of that too. Totally. I have done it too. But the people that actually respond, like physically respond to something that is very catered to something I said specifically, something I shared, right? Like yesterday I shared this like 83 year old woman or 81 year old in South Carolina in the South survived the coronavirus. And this one random person shared it and was like, oh my God, this was so awesome, Jackie. Like, yay, 81 year old woman. Like just saying a little extra about specifically what I posted and reshared, freaking awesome. Like that's what people want to see. That's what people want to hear. Resharing content also is another great way, especially more on Facebook than anything else, to um, drive traffic. So reshare, reshare, reshare. And I think too, just being vulnerable and sharing things you don't think normally would resonate with people, do, like totally do. Just stay away from politics on social media and you will be golden. I promise you that. Just keep it all about things that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis, motivational things, things that you're struggling with stress-wise, mental health. You know, like just be open and vulnerable and some people relate to what we're all going through this together, right? We all have good and bad days. I can tell you. Today I showered and did my hair and I felt like, oh, like a new person, right? I don't know if anybody can relate, but there's just the little things that just like can change your mindset, change your day, change your, set yourself up for success. And I think that's really what's going to show up your authenticity, the people who want to engage in, in your content. You're probably going to get more people to engage in your content by just showing up authentically to you. Like it is what it is. So I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you so much for showing up for not only, you know, yourselves, but to support the community and, um, and me, I so appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a great evening and I will talk to you soon.